Hey, well, good morning, everyone. This is Long speaking. I just hope everyone's having an awesome uh, day. So, first off, happy hump day. Um, anyway, like, um, this is like one of my first attempt, another one of my attempts to like, to uh, to make a meaningful vlog. Um, you know, outside of my like gaming activities and then my work as well. So, anyway, um, so for a very long time, you know, for the longest time, I've really been praising Ubisoft for. Uh, so basically, the talking point I wanted. So I wanted to focus on a topic that, you know, that's been on my mind for some time now. And basically, like, I really have, um, this is a, and this is going to have to do with Ubisoft, and then of course the relationship with uh, Patrice Dassale. So quite frankly, like I've been spent for the longest time, I've been doing nothing but praise Ubisoft for all these blockbuster franchises that have been coming out, even like with, you know, some. Mo most of which are really awesome, and then some of which, like, you know, there were a lot of, there were glitches, but, you know, I'm sure, like, Ubisoft is working to correct those mistakes, um, and certainly the case in point was with Call of Juarez, the cartel, which was pretty subpar, in my opinion, but, you know, uh, just from the first impressions I saw with Gunslinger, I think I'm going to have to pick that one up uh, sometime later this week, so, um, that's awesome, but, anyway, um, the topic of discussion I want, what my, you know, my uh, topic of interest is with Patrice Desale, who is I don't know if I got pronounced his last name right, but like, um, but I assume, but that's my assumption. That's how that's how his name is uh, pronounced. Anyway, um, so I, as far as I understand, he came back to Ubisoft um, after THQ uh, went bought, you know, went belly up, and then got, and then most of his assets were sold to Ubisoft, effectively bringing Patrice back into the Ubisoft fold. And as a lot of people may know, he brought Assassin's Creed to Ubisoft, which is one of my, is actually one of my most favorite franchises. And I absolutely love it. Even like with, yeah, and even with Assassin's Creed 3, and I haven't actually had a chance to like beat that game yet. I'm actually halfway through with the game and uh, and I hope to like get into the multiplayer here soon even though it's been like a while since that game has released um, but anyway so the the issue with Patrice Desale is that you know he was basically apparently he was um, so Ubisoft claimed that you know they parted mutual ways but Patrice says otherwise uh, basically, he's taking the, his case to court that you know he was terminated wrongfully, and that his uh, his project title one six 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 was taken away from him without like you know without due due cause. So um, so basically, I'm reading this uh, article on Game Inform, which has been out for nearly a week, and. Um, and, and I guess like he's he's going to be suing Ubisoft for four hundred grand. And, you know, I mean, like, at the very least, it sounds like his, you know, although it sounds like his argument is legit, I don't have all the facts. But, like, the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I've been praising Ubisoft for a long time about the quality of their games, uh, as well as the, the strength of the community. I mean, like, quite frankly, I'm very proud to be a part of the Ubisoft community. But at the same time, I'm kind of broken about, like, you know, kind of torn about, like, how uh, whether or not um, the argument is valid, and and more importantly, like you know if you know and, and I don't know if it, if um, Patrice is getting a fair shake. Either way, I mean, like I'm not too sure about like the specifics, but um, the reason why I'm wanting to create this vlog is because is basically you know create a forum as to like um, you know what are your thoughts on. You know how the case is getting handled. Will it actually change your opinion with Ubisoft? And quite frankly, I don't. I personally don't have all the information at hand yet to come up with any arguments um, to form an opinion yet. Uh, but uh, but my hope is that like by creating this vlog, um, I can at least create some form of discussion. Um, you know, and you know, and just invite people to like you know speak freely. I mean, whether you're from Ubisoft or or you're a gamer, whether you're a fan of their games or not. I mean, I, or like, you know, if you're just simply, or if you're a legal expert, I mean, yeah, feel free to come on in and, you know, yeah, and leave your comments below. 
um, I would be very interested in seeing like how everyone is like you know think about this as you know like uh, yeah anyway um, it, anyway like uh, I I hope you know I honestly do hope that you know the the, the argument is settled because I mean like on one hand you know I mean uh, what I don't have all, again like I can't really form any opinions unfortunately um, I brain fart because like I don't have all the facts yet but what I'm wanting to do is just at least you know come up with some form of discussion as to like how exactly we need to think uh, about it because you know because Ubisoft is a very respect I respect Ubisoft very much as a developer and a publisher at the same time, like I know, like not everyone has their bright spots, so it'd be really great to see like where the discussion is going to be going, particularly in regards to the original creator of Assassin's Creed. So, all right. Um, anyway, feel free to comment, and uh, yeah, ha and again, happy hump day, and I wish you all the best um, for the rest of this week. All right, bye.